Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be focusing on everything you need to know about creating tasks in Asana. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Asana is a project management app by Asana Inc. It's available on macOS, Windows, iPadOS, iOS, Android, and it has a web app. Asana is a freemium app with an option to unlock Pro features starting at $10.99 per month for their premium package and $24.99 per month for the business one. Like most apps, it's cheaper when billed annually. We will be focusing on the free version of Asana using its web app in Google Chrome for this video. It's easy to get started in Asana. When you create your task, you can name it, assign it to a team member, and choose a project for it. You can also set a priority level for your tasks. The colors for your priorities look a bit similar, especially for the high and medium ones. The developers should consider using distinct colors that are easier to tell apart. You can add a due date and due time for your task. The app has an option to type the date with limited support for natural language. You can then choose to repeat your tasks. Asana has limited repeating options for your yearly repeats. It doesn't even give you the yearly option when you're customizing your repeats. However, you have a periodic repeat that you can set for your to-dos to repeat after a certain number of days once you've completed the task. Asana supports detailed descriptions that are great for adding important notes to your to-dos. You can do the following with your description notes. You can format them to make the text bold, italic, underline or strike through. You can add simple numbered or unnumbered lists, add links, mention team members, or link a task, project, or messages, add emojis, add any file from pretty much anywhere, as long as it's less than 100 megabytes. You can also record a video via Vimeo to add to your description. This integration is a powerful one if you're already using both apps. Asana will automatically add every recording to your Vimeo account. Without Vimeo, you're limited to creating one video. The videos you can add can be a screen recording, a video of yourself, or both. So far, We've not been able to record both yourself and the screen recording. Perhaps we're missing something. Once recorded, you can name your video before adding it to your task. You can also choose to edit this video in Vimeo or download it to your computer. We managed to record more than 10 minutes before we lost our patience. What are the chances you'll need to record longer than that? We feel any video longer than 10 minutes ought to be an actual call. So, the recording feature is quite decent. With all the items you can add to your description, you might forget you're in a project management app. When you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you can create a quick task. Depending on the view you're using, list, board, or calendar, you have different options for quick tasks. In all the views, you can name the task. 
board and list views let you add a due date and only the board view lets you like your tasks. When editing a task, you get more features than those you have when you first created. That is amazing, considering how much you can already add when creating a task. You can zone in on your task to remove all the distractions in the app, and minimalists will love this. When editing your tasks, you can add subtasks to your main to-do. These can be as detailed as the main task. You can add your task to other projects, so your tasks in Asana can belong to multiple projects. Tags on the web version of Asana are easier to work with than on the iPad version. They are universal, so you can see all the tags in the app. It makes it easier to organize your work. We also love how you can choose colors for them. Since templates are a paid feature, you can duplicate tasks you use often. You can then rename the copy and choose the details you want to include in them. It's a decent workaround for templates. You can quickly convert a task to a subtask of another main task or make it a project if it's too complicated. We'll cover the complexities of organizing your projects in Asana in a different video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. We love how Asana clearly labels all the premium features in the app so we don't waste our time clicking on features we don't have in the free version. We hope more developers can show us the same courtesy. Follow-up apps are very important, especially when working on massive projects. It links back to the original task, which makes it easy for you to connect the dots if you need to. We fail to appreciate why anyone would want to print a task, even saving it as a PDF. Let us know if this is a feature you found useful in Get Things Done apps. When editing your tasks, you even get more features for your description, which lets you add paragraphs, headings, section breaks, and even embed different items to your description. Completed tasks in Asana are ticked and dimmed. It will be better if they were also struck out. Still, you can easily differentiate them from incomplete tasks, which is all that matters. You can choose to view incomplete tasks only, or all completed tasks, or tasks that have been completed for a certain period. You can also choose to view all the tasks to see both completed and incomplete tasks. Who else can't stand duplicates? where you just feel the urge to merge them. Asana can identify duplicate tasks in your project so you can merge them together. You can also merge different tasks that are not necessarily similar. Merging tasks tidies up your project if too much is going on with it. That brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you found it useful. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the other videos we'll be covering on different project management apps. Let us know your favorite Get Things Done apps so we can try them. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.